Hi guys, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to be talking about pedal tones. As I said in the introduction, today we're going to be talking about pedal tones. I'm going to talk about why we should do pedal tones, how we should approach the pedal tones, and which exercises I do to help with pedal tones. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I've got videos that'll help players of all levels, and by subscribing, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. The best part is, it's completely free. Why should we do pedal tones? Well, if you do your pedal tones correctly, they help shape the embouchure. If you get it right, you can pay, play from pedal C to double C, and if you're an extreme player, you can go even further beyond that, all with the one mouth shape set up from your pedal tones. Pedal tones also help open up our sound. If your sound starts thinning out a little bit, you're probably doing something incorrect with your embouchure. Bring back your pedal tones, spend a few minutes on pedals, and then your sound will open up back to its former glory again. Pedal tones also help us increase our range, right? Not just down lower, below the bottom F sharp, right? But it also helps us in our top register. It means that we've put the embouchure in the right way, we get down the pedals, and then we get all the way up into a high register. Pedals definitely help increase your upper register. Pedals also create an awareness of your tongue level. Right, and how your tongue position helps in all registers of the trumpet. So, how do we approach our pedals? Well, for starters, we must always approach pedals from above the note. We want to work our way down to our pedals, not try and scoop up to them. The second thing is we need to make sure that we're maintaining the correct embouchure from the middle of our horn down to the bottom of the horn. There's no point in getting out a pedal if your embouchure looks like this. Yeah, sure, you can get the note out, but it's not the right way to do pedals. So we want to make sure we've got the same embouchure from in the middle of the horn, right, in the middle of the register, all the way down to our pedals. So there are three books that I use primarily for working on pedal tones, right? The first one being the Lewis Maggio system. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, the second of which is probably the one I use the most which is the James Stamp routine. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description. And the third one which I use, which I commonly use when I've done some damage to my lips, and I try and use this to get back into shape and repair the damage, is the Pierre Thibault method. All three are fantastic books, and I really recommend all three of them. I'll leave links in the description for them so you can go and buy one of them or all three. Now, the Maggio and the stamp tend to stop at pedal C and he doesn't go any lower than that. But the tabot will go into the double pedal tones and extend from there on. Now the way you should always approach your pedal tones is from the middle register. Now if I take the, uh, the Maggio approach, he starts from the middle C. So to get the pedal F out, I haven't moved the mouthpiece position on or the trumpet. It's still in the same position as it was in the register, but what I've done is I'm changing my tongue position by changing which syllable I'm singing. So, to ah, just like this. Now by changing our syllable, what we're doing is essentially flattening out our tongue and allowing the air to go past our tongue. Now we're not forcing it, if we try and force it, it won't work. We just need to release the air 
at a steady string. Singing tall lowers the tongue position, allowing the air at the right shape to go past the tongue, past the teeth, through the lips, because the air push, or the air pushing through the lips is what causes the buzz and the note from there. So, we're lowering our tongue position to get down into the pedal tones and allowing that air stream to go through. And the same thing goes all the way down to pedal C. Now you'll also hear that pedal C locks in a lot better than F, E, E flat, D, or C sharp. Now that's because those ones are all fake pedals, where the pedal C, which is actually really almost a B flat, is actually a real pedal tone. Once we've worked our pedals all the way down, now I stop at the pedal C um, most days. It's only if I'm repair, doing some repair work that I go further than that. But I'll stop at the pedal C and then I've got to work my way back up so I'm linking the middle register with my pedal tones and then linking them back up into the register again and try and link that from the bottom pedal C for me as high as I can go. Most days I'll go to a double G. If I've got a gig where I'm playing some lead on, I'll start working my way back up towards a double C. still keep going beyond this as well. So sometimes I'll start tuning note C, middle of the stave, down to the pedal C, and then work up above the stave from there. Now with that one, I started with the syllable TA, right? Because in the Maggio system, he talks about changing his syllable. So it'll be TA U A O. And then OR TOR down to the pedal C. And then I'll link that all the way up to the top. So TOR TA TU TA TI TI. Once I'm up to the top C. Now that way, by pronouncing those syllables, I'm then watching my tongue go from middle of the register down to the flattening for the pedals and then I'm lifting the tongue up. Now by changing this tongue position using these syllables is helping me with my airspeed going into the mouthpiece and into the instrument so that I'm getting the right airspeed without too much complication. And I only do this by what syllable I'm singing into the instrument. I don't want to think any more into that. Right. Uh, if you get the Maggio system, right, which the link's in the description, he talks about which register to use which syllables for. And that helps out a lot as well. So that's probably a good starting point for you. So the three things that we need to remember for our pedal tones are one, we need to always approach from above. Approach from the middle register of the trumpet and then go down. Work our way down to our pedals. The second tip is we need to keep the mouthpiece and embouchure the same in our pedal tones 
as what we do in the middle register of our instrument. And the third tip is seeing the syllables, the correct syllable for the range that you're trying to play in. For our pedal tones, we want tor. All right? Now this will make our tongue do the, the thing that we need it to do to be able to play. Guys, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. I'm constantly putting out new videos on ways that we can all improve as trumpet players, regardless of what standard you're at. By subscribing, you'll get a notification every time I release a new video. And the best part is, it's completely free. Guys, thanks for checking out this video on pedal tones. I hope you guys have really found this insightful and it helps you to improve your pedal tones in your, in your private practice. If you've got any friends who are working on their pedal tones or who need to work on their pedal tones, feel free to share this video with them. Once again, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and happy practicing.